So I went to La Union for a very spontaneous, very quick overnight trip because I wanted to view this unit that I had been eyeing for a long while now. I'll explain later on why I was viewing a unit but I just wanted to show you guys the clips that I took from when I viewed the unit with the landlord. I absolutely loved this unit. Out of all of the units that I found, ito yung pinaka malinis tignan, super aliwalas niya in real life. And on top of that, it was in a very safe area that was near a mall, a laundry, and a water station. <laughs> Okay, ka lang. Oh. <laughs> Nanong, ka lang. Ka lang. Ah. Ah. Ano Hi. Ka tumulong, siya kanina mag siya. Hindi, natumba na kayo, Rada? Dito lang sa Manipon. Oo. Nicole. Nicole. Bandol. Bandol? Ah, nice to meet you. Ano pa ano niya? Roy. Roy. Saka saan kayo? Ano, fresh from Bulacan. Ah, fresh from Bulacan. Oh, near lang kami sa Philippine Arena. Mmm! Kailan ba kayo dumating? Kahapon. Ah, kahapon. Hanggang tomorrow din lang ako. Pero kakarating ko lang. Mm. In overnight ko lang. Tapos. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> I am here at my hostel and I realized I don't have enough time to explain to you guys what I'm doing here in La Union because I have to rush to lunch because the supervisor ko at my job plus all the other supervisors in kind of our division are also here in La Union with other office mates. We agreed to have lunch and I'm already running late. I'm just applying sunblock before I head out kasi grabe. As in, sobrang init today. And this place where I'm staying, it's called Sora. It's like on a hill. For the challenge, papunta dito. But I love this place. Everyone's always super nice. And ang ganda talaga. Nung rooms, nung shared areas, and things like that. So, ito talaga yung gusto kong mabook. I'm also rushing kasi meron akong training for becoming a yellow belt mentor at 2. So I have to get to lunch at 12 and then I have to open my laptop for the training at 2. So parang ang dami kong hinahabol kahit na nakaliba ko today. I'm always at La Union, but this time I booked this La Union trip 
ng biglaan and dahil biglaan siya, it's just overnight. So, I have been scouting for apartment units for a while now and I had one specific unit that I have been eyeing and after weeks and weeks of scouting for other units and uh, figuring out yung mga different terms and conditions for each of the units, I knew that this was the unit that I needed to check out and so that's what I did today and the reason that I'm viewing units is because I want to try living in La Union. I have been going to La Union back and forth so many times for the past couple of months. Medyo nagcompute ako ng onte and I realized that it might be a bit cheaper or mas sulit if I just rent a place here. So there are many different reasons as to why I felt like I had to do this now. The first reason is because my job permits it. So I feel like for the most part, dahil work from home siya, now na ito yung job ko is the perfect time to try to live in La Union kasi I can work from my apartment, I can work from the beach, and I feel like I have to do this now kasi I don't know what will happen next year. What if next year, return to office na for all of the days? Also, what if, for example lang, iba na yung job ko next year and they don't have a work from home structure and kailangan na sa office ako all the time, diba? The second of why nagmamadali na ako mag-move to La Union is because I'm trying to take advantage of the sun habang summer pa. Ilang weeks or months na lang magiging tag-ulan na. And third, I feel like I'm getting old and I haven't done anything substantially fun in my life. Elementary and high school and in college, all I did was study and do my plates. And now I have the ability financially and the ability time-wise to be able to live in La Union. And I just don't want to turn 30 or 40 or 50 and look back at my life and think, grabe, all I did was study and work. Wala <laughs> akong ginawang anything substantial for myself where I knew I would enjoy my life. Also, living in La Union would be a great opportunity to meet new friends, to meet new people, to challenge myself because I'm going to be living alone in a different town. So, I think this will be a good chapter in my life. I checked the unit kanina and I love it. It's so bare. Like, there's no couch, there's no nothing. Just like a bed frame and mattress, which I love. Because I want to be able to customize the space to myself. So, what's gonna happen now is I'm going to try living there for a month and then after, I'm going to see if I'm going to stay longer or if I'm going to go back to Manila. And I'm so happy because I found a unit and a landlord who would allow me to do that and I met the landlord kanina when I was being the unit and he was so nice. Ang funny kasi min mention niya na kamukha ko daw yung governor ng La Union. And I disagree. I do not think that I look like the governor. But that has been mentioned to me a couple of times here in La Union. There was a time I was partying at Hara and I met this group and they kept saying that I looked like the governor and they gave me free drinks for the rest of the night kasi kamukha ko nga daw yung governor. Freezing in Westwood, we don't give a fuck Never a night just for the two of us Wish for my time and for good or bad luck My car got locked in the parking garage We took an Uber straight to your home We lay together but never too close Yes. Stop! Stop worrying. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Two 
the kit cost. <laughs> okay. I'm a free fall, you could call like a ref. Hey, million dollar bet. I'm a better all on the music, no sweat. On guard if you're ready for the action. Now they all the folks I keep yeah. Good morning. I am back on the rooftop of Sora. It's such a pretty and relaxing morning. And na papaos ako from last night. It's so funny kasi, diba, I was just supposed to have dinner at La Cantina. So I was having my dinner there. And then chinichika ko yung bartender na si Keith. Parang it was just such a fun night kasi naging friend ko si Keith, yung bartender. Naging friend ko yung katabi kong girl and yung husband niya. That girl was so nice and we just kept talking for the rest of the night. We found out that we were from the same high school, Quezon City, which is insane. And then we found out we're both from UP Diliman. And then, tapos na yung night. I was like, oh my god, can I please follow you on IG? Sabi niya, sure! And then, syempre, makikita ko yung mutuals namin. Sabi ko, how do you know Sir Jai? Kasi Sir Jai was um, my science teacher from first year high school. And he was one of my favorite teachers. Kasi, ang galing niya talaga magturo. And then, she was like, oh, Jai is like my brother. I was like, oh, like, your friends and you're so close na para kayong brother and sister. And then, sabi niya, no, Jai is my brother. I'm like, mind blown. I know that it doesn't sound like a big deal, but ang crazy lang that we were connected that way. I had no plans of drinking. I just wanted to eat carbonara at La Cantina. But yun nga, because it was so fun talking to that girl named Hannah, and then to her husband, to Keith, the bartender, and all the other bartenders. I ended up ordering like two cocktails, and then and daming shots. Sobrang daming shots. I don't know ilan <laughs> yung shots na ininom ko. Crazy. I had so much fun last night. Sutra, does it suit you? Your velvet dress is slipping off. Would you stay with me? It's coming through you. Never knew you. Never knew how much it means. So before I go, I wanted to show you guys the room. Again, this room is shared. This room is 106. It's super near the lobby. There are four beds. This is the bed I chose. You have your cabinets to store your stuff. And then each bed has its own switch for the light and your own plug. Meet your parents, cast your shoes off in the pool. Don't it seem? Carolina, treat you better. I won't steal and I won't cheat. Would you stay with me? I actually went home pretty sad because after all of that, after mustering up the courage to go to La Union by myself, after booking just an overnight trip, which ended up being super tiring because that meant that I had a total of 12 hours of bus time in just two days, I ended up not getting the unit. The landlord eventually found that there were problems with the unit, so he couldn't rent it out to me. But everything worked out in the end, so stay tuned for the next video to see what happens next. I'm happy.